Welcome back, YouTube. It's C O Z U N O N. That's Cosanone. And it's that time once again for another pickup video. Awesome. It's getting harder to find stuff, though, you know? Uh, at decent prices, you know. But my thrift store, I used to always, you know, bank on, you know, they're getting really dry lately. Uh, nothing on Craigslist anymore. It seems like just resellers that, you know, when you want to sell you everything super high, want you to go to the store. Or you know, want you to sell you, so want you to sell them your stuff cheap. So, but this is what I did find. So, yeah, let's just get into this. Blood Rain. I know this movie got slammed. I've never personally seen it. So, but it was five bucks. Previously loved is what the sticker said. So I decided, you know, five bucks. It's a game. Based, it's a game. It's a movie based on a video game. So I was like, you know, what, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna try it out. Fuck yeah. Um, I never really talk about my computer games that I get, but out recently, I was at a, a store called Savers, and I think that's like Vintage Village for people up in in the northern, western kind of place, because the stickers look exactly the same. And these are this is what I got at Vintage Village, or Savers, what they call it here. Hexen 2 for the PC. Fucking awesome. I remember playing this game back, you know, when it first came out, my friend had a crack of it, and... It just blew me away. The graphics, the, the weapons, you know, the blood, everything was just so fucking awesome. And in order to play this now, I'm going to have to get like a Windows emulator to put on my computer so I can run this, this. but I will do that because this game was fucking awesome. Uh, the next honorable mention, another computer game, Riven, the sequel to this. This is like the special edition. It comes with all five discs, and they all five discs have their little special, uh, like, special sleeve I guess you would say so each one of these games was actually a buck a piece there were two dollars for both of them so once I seen there were a dollar a piece for some old school games that I remember I, I loved the shit out of when I was younger I had to pick it up no doubt about it let me go to this one next a boxed SNES game and that's Primal Rage I actually picked this up the box is in a little bit rough condition but it's the box it's complete uh, has a manual and everything but I picked it up for six dollars at Fallout Games. Uh, Fallout Games is a little mom and pop local game store. It's not a real big huge game store so the selection is kind of limited but you know their prices are really awesome and I love going. This is the first people. Um, I've never collected for this system. This is the first time I've gotten anything but it's Adventure for the for the Atari 2600 and I do uh, plan to pick up more Atari games uh, but find them in the wild I just I had no luck and this is the first time I found it and it cost me 50 cents, so couldn't go wrong. That's all one pickup, so we'll go right here. This is one of the later pickups, actually. And this is uh, the last story for the Wii. And it is open. I was going to do an unboxing of this one, but it wasn't as spectacular as like my Max Payne 3. But you do get like a, a little art book, the actual game itself, a little holder right here, and this is pretty cool, and then like the outer sleeve. So it was a really great deal. Um, it was like a normal video game price, you know, it was really, really inexpensive, and I, I couldn't believe it. And it's X-Seed, and I love everything from, everything I've played from X-Seed so far, I've loved. You know, they re-released all the, uh, all, all the Yeez uh, for the PSP title, I loved every single one of them. And they also did Fragile Dreams, and I started playing that one for a little bit, and it was really super fun. Loved every minute of it, so I can't wait to start playing this game. I'm going to talk about the biggest pickup I've had of the month. The month this past month and that's my PS Vita um, I actually popped this from somebody it's getting kind of dusty I use this thing a lot like re crazy ridiculous and um, he gave me this the memory card that he got for it he still had the box too so I, I had the box and everything complete and the three games he got he he sold to me as well was Mortal Kombat obviously for the PS Vita Gravity Rush, and this is the one I'm playing right now on it. Super awesome game. I'm having a blast playing this one. You play this girl, and you actually can control gravity for a brief bit, a brief bit of time. So you can run up on walls um, until your gravity meter runs out. Then you fall straight to the ground, but you, you don't you don't get hurt if you fall very far. You're like on a big floating island in the sky. Really great game so far that I played. And the last one was Uncharted: Golden Abyss. So. I got the PS Vita with the box complete, uh, the memory card in these three games for $100. It's 
It's a little bit more than I usually like to spend in, in, on video games in a month. Um, but, you know, this, this, this person I know, and I really don't want to say his name, uh, said he wasn't really happy with the PS Vita. He's not real big in the handhelds. He's not really sure why he bought it. And he offered it to me for 100 bucks, and, and I said, I'll take it right now. And I went to the bank. I pulled $100 out of my bank account, and the rest is history. I, I'm a proud over, proud over. I'm a proud owner of the PS Vita now. Love this system. If I can hold it right, PS Vita upside down. Yeah. We'll go right here. My NES collection, collection. <laughs> this is my whole NES collection, guys. No, this is my recent pickups for NES. These are two games that I played when I was younger. I love these games. And, and Build and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So. I love this game when I was growing up. Well, I really, I didn't own it. I'm not going to lie. I didn't own it. But we did borrow it from a friend, and I love playing it. You know, I was really hooked into video games on NES. And the other one is the Rocketeer. And this is another one when uh, I used to always get, visit my Uncle Terry, uh, as I said in my the, one of the other videos. And this is one of the games they used to always rent. And and I love this game to death. It, it was really hard. I remember being really hard and challenging, and that's, that's part of what I loved about it. You know, you couldn't really get far in it. So everybody took their turns and everyone died pretty quick. This is all one lot right here. <clears throat> and uh, I don't remember how much I paid. I remember it wasn't very much at all. And they're all Game Boy Advance and I'm really surprised I got these. It was under 10 bucks for all of these, including shipping. And usually Game Boy Advance games on, on eBay go for, you know, a pretty penny. You know, they usually go for a good amount. So when I got these four games, you know, for the price I did, I was, I was ecstatic. And this is a... Uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance. And all these covers, I, I printed up these covers because I have a bunch of these cases too. The Incredibles, mm, it was just in a lot. And then this one is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Team Rescue, right? Red, Red Rescue Team. And then The Legend of Zelda, the classic NES game. So, yeah, all, these, all four of these titles were like, I want to say it was like, Almost nine dollars, eight dollars and some change, including shipping to get these four. So once I saw that, I really didn't think I was going to win the bid, and but I did. Awesome! Now they're in my collection. <clears throat> Couple other eBay pickups I did. All these were actually from the same lady, uh, different bids, and I can't believe I won them all. We'll start start off with Ur guys. I seen someone, I think it was Mike Gardner, picked this up cheap. And then I remember playing this game when I was younger, and I was like, I gotta own that game again. So I, I ended up paying 20 bucks for this game online. But, you know, I wanted to own it again. Super ecstatic that I have it. And when I seen this, this lady's posting, I never dealt with this lady before, so I started going through her, uh, her other listings, and she had, she had other PlayStation 1 games I wanted to bid on. Uh, the X-Files, uh, starting bid was 99 cents, so I bid 99 cents, and I won the bid. And I was, I was kind of crazy, you know, it's complete... It has the manual, all four discs, discs, all four discs are in there. Um, I take the manual out. And they're, they're all in really good shape, you know, a few light scratches, but nothing nothing major. And uh, this one of those games I always wanted to play when I was younger, but never, never got the chance to. Now I, now I do have the chance. Uh, Beyblade. And this is just one of those games where I was kind of interested in picking it up. And so it was only 99 cents, so I, I bid 99 cents, and, and I won it at 99 cents. And the last game was actually Bloody Roar. And uh, this is what I paid a little bit more for. Uh, the starting bid was 99 cents, and I put a bid of $5.10. And I ended up winning the bid at $2.35 or something like that, something ridiculous like that. And so, yeah, super stoked. I've been looking for this game for a while. I never owned it before, but I did own the PlayStation demo disc for it, and me and my brothers religiously played the fuck out of that game. This is the very first pickup I did of this month, and it was actually, I ordered it the month prior, but it didn't come until this month, so it made it onto this, this pickup rather than the last one. And this is Justice League Task Force. Um, as everybody knows, I'm a huge fan of uh, superheroes, uh, superhero video games, and I'm a huge fan of of fighting games and this is like DC fighting you know almost like DC versus Mortal Kombat only no Mortal Kombat the controls are a little sluggish on this one but you know just to have Batman fight the Flash and fight you know Superman super awesome I'm really glad this is in my collection Ultimate Mortal Kombat for the DS so yeah I got Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 for the DS and I have Mortal Kombat for the PS Vita so and I paid $10 for this at a, at a pawn shop or that's down the street from me 
And I remember GameStop had this, and every time they had it for pre-owned, they had it for $24.99. And I was always close to pick it up because I really wanted to own it, and I never did. But then when I seen it for 10 at this pawn shop, you know, I, I couldn't resist. I had to own it. Picked it up for 10 bucks. Awesome price. Nintendo 64. But that's Mission Impossible. I had to own this game. It's it's in 64 exclusive. I played the bulk out of this game when I was younger. Had to own it. This game I found uh, is at the same pawn store as Mission Impossible and the uh, Mortal Kombat. And this was two bucks and it was Super Godzilla. And it was the cheapest Super Nintendo game they had that wasn't sports related. So I, I, picked, I went ahead and picked it up. And then uh, the getaway for the PlayStation 2. Uh, this one was another two dollar game. And I ha you know, I seen it two bucks and I was like, I gotta own it. I don't own this game. But I got it home and I did own this game. I actually thought I owned the getaway, the London one, but it was this one that I owned. So this I had this is a double and I own it twice. Uh time splitters for the PS2. You know, everywhere I turn and uh people who talk about this game say it's really fucking awesome, really great game. Um you can play through it multiple times and not get bored with it. And a lot of people don't know about this game. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna try it out. And, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Soul Calibur 2 for the GameCube. This is actually in my pickup video a couple months back, but it was for the Xbox. So instead of Link, it had a spawn. And the last pickup, I already own this game, but it's Batman Arkham City uh, Game of the Year Edition. So I found this game on sale at an electronic store for 20 bucks, And I, I hadn't picked up any of the uh, downloaded contents yet, and I was like, why the fuck not? 20 bucks? I'll get all the content. So I was playing the game and I found it on sale for 20 bucks. I'm like, I already own it, but you know, own it again. I like this cover. It's so fucking badass. I love how he's wiping the blood away from his mouth. Ugh. Um, I can do without the without all this other bullshit riding all the way around it. But anyway, you know, for 20 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Get all the DLC. Super fucking awesome. Anyway, YouTube, that's it for this pickup. You know, make a video response. Show me what you got. You know, I'm leaving an open invitation. If you wanted to start a gaming channel and, you know, you just didn't know where to start off at, hey, show me your pickups for this last, you know, last month, last week, this weekend, yesterday, today. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead and do it. It's, it's awesome. You know, we need more people in the community, more people to uplift. Too many people talk shit. So, but anyway, that's it, YouTube. Stay up and game on.